What up? So today, guys, I'm going to show you four different ways to press flowers. The quickest way, the easiest way, the hardest way, blah, blah, blah. And then my favorite way to make these flowers. Flowers, 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 flowers. So first off, a huge thank you to Danique for sponsoring the video. And for the first method, what we're gonna need are two things of wood, two planks of wood, a drill, four bolts, four wing nuts, and some washers. So we're gonna take one of those pieces of wood and just drill four little holes in the corner. And then take the second one, match it up, make sure that it's nice and flush. Go ahead and drill all the way through and you try not to drill into your table. I did that, but whatever. Put a bolt in. I'll just put that in to help it like stay lined up. I also put another piece of wood to try to make it so I didn't drill onto my table, but still managed to, so that's cool. Put another bolt in there to hold it together, and we're gonna drill through all the way, so it goes all the way through those both planks of wood. I ended up not using the washer, so cool. There are some holes in my table though. For the flowers, you're gonna wanna use fresh flowers. I think I just grabbed those from Lowe's or Walmart or something. And to use this little flower press that we made, you're gonna put a piece of paper, then cut off the head of the flower and then make sure it's nice and open. So I use my fingers to kind of open it up and press it down, face down. I do that with all the little flowers. And then you're gonna put another layer of paper and make like a little wood flower paper sandwich. Then put the bolts back on and then tighten it up with the wing nuts. I tightened this too much and we'll see that later when I open this up the next day. But for now, let's go to the second method. And we're just gonna use a sketchbook. This is a Denise sketchbook and something heavy. So take that sketchbook and put some paper in it. That's your blotter paper. And you're gonna wanna change that out every four days, but we're gonna do the same thing where we just press the flowers in and then shut it. Then go a couple pages deeper and do the same thing. Blotter paper, put some flowers in. And you can also trim them up here to make them look how you want. I do it better, I trim up these guys pretty good. Cause in my opinion, I feel like less the better. Otherwise you just get like a big mush of like green or a big mush of white. So if you can have like the individual flowers kind of stand out, I think it'll look cool. So I'll fold that over, then put some papers down and then mush some flowers on there, put it down and then you're gonna wanna put something heavy on it. And if you don't have something heavy, you can actually just go shove it underneath your mattress and sleep on it. Next method is the microwave method. So you microwave two pieces of paper and two pieces of cardboard and then something flat and heavy like a notebook or a piece of wood. Something that doesn't have metal that's microwave safe. So take the cardboard and we're gonna make a little sandwich. Cardboard, paper, flour, paper, cardboard. Then you're gonna put something heavy and flat on top of it and throw it in the microwave for 30 seconds or like intervals of 15 seconds. If you're scared you're gonna burn it. And that was 30 though and it looked okay so I'm like okay I'm gonna throw it in again for another 30 I also put a little cup on there to make it heavier and it, it was like starting to change color starting to burn I probably put it in too long but the next step is to do the notebook method so you put the ones they just microwaved in and you're gonna put them in a notebook put something heavy on it and this will only take like two days instead of two weeks all right the last one is with an iron and paper so you're gonna put your flour down put the paper on top and mush it down with something flat like a book and then just press for like 15 seconds without moving the iron around and uh, I pressed it too hard. So I'm gonna try that again. It's a little bitty baby boy. So put it on, press it with something flat. This time I didn't press quite as hard. And then just press the iron on it for 15 seconds. I took a peek, it looked like it was kind of working. And then let that cool off and try again. Another 15 seconds and you're not gonna move it around. You're just gonna press it right on top. And yeah, it was looking okay. So I kept on doing that over and again, over and over and over and over again. And then when I pull it off, I broke it. So I'm like, awesome, cool, let's try this again. And then another tip is if you have a big fat flower, you can actually cut it in half and then put that like flat side face down. And you can do that with any of these four methods of pressing flowers, just cut it in half first. So I did this again, over and over again, and I let it cool off. And you can see the color change is pretty cool. So let's check on some of these things. It's been a day now. And they're looking pretty good. Pretty stoked with how they're going. I'm just gonna go ahead and put them back. 
This is the microwaved one. The color really changed, so I really think I, I burnt it. So I should, should have probably just done it for 15 seconds and 15 seconds again. And gone more slowly and more methodically. These ones got smushed. Kind of like how we were having the issue with the iron on. I think I just tightened it too much. So this time I did it again and I didn't tighten it quite as much. I made it so the flowers were like kind of flat. And then my plan was just to leave it for a day and come back. And so that's what we did. And it was already like pretty flat. So I tightened it the next day. I think that's what we're going to have to do. But the flower press method, that way takes like four weeks. The next quickest way is the book method. Put it on there something heavy. The microwave is a little bit quicker, but you can burn it. So my favorite way is actually a mix of the two. I like pressing it in a notebook for like two days and then microwaving it like we did that one. So I'm gonna take this one that's been two days in a notebook, microwave it, and yeah, it still held the color. It did get a little shriveled. I don't think I had enough weight on it, but you can see like the color difference there. And that's the method that I used to make all these. I just went outside and found some wildflowers, and then immediately pressed them in that notebook while they were fresh, brought them home, let it sit for two days, and then microwaved them. Then I made some cool things like this little picture frame with toast in it. I put them and some words in between two panes of glass. I also forgot to glue it down, so it went all over the place, but it looks cool, whatever. I also made a candle that I wasn't stoked on how it turned out, but it looks kind of cool. I think I know how to do that better now. I also pressed them in between contact paper and put that in a embroidery hoop. I was really stoked how that turned out. And my favorite thing that I made with them, it's gotta be this little tule thing. I pressed it in between two things of tule and then embroidered over the top of that. Really stoked on how that turned out. And I'll do a future video on how to do all those little things with your pressed flowers. Again, huge thank you to Danique for sponsoring this video. They're gonna give you guys 15% off with the discount code SHMOOD15. And they just released these National Park ones. So those are really cool. You can check those out, they have really cool backs. This was a really easy sponsor for me because these are the sketchbooks that I use anyways. Like in any of my past videos, if I'm using a notebook, it's a Danique notebook. So they have really cool graphics on them. This one is embroidered over the top, which is rad. I didn't know you could do that. So you better believe I'll probably be collabing with them in the future. Another cool thing that I really like about them is part of your purchase will go towards building a school and to the artist that helped design it. So Danica's super cool, love them, love what they're about. You guys can go get 15% off your purchase and I'll put a link in the description below. Cool. I'd love to know what you guys think of this video. I think it'd be fun to start doing like more simple how to's once every other week. And then the weeks in between I'd do something more in depth, kind of like once you've made these flowers, like what do you do with them? So, cool. Thanks, guys.